For many people, the only candidate worth voting for is a bunny. Coco Bunny, a third party presidential candidate who believes in hugs for all and ninjas for the terrorists. But who is this Coco Bunny? Well, for one, she's a Fisher Price Puff alum. She's attracted many passionate fans and detractors. But many of Coco's most ardent supporters believe that the only way to truly achieve electoral change in American politics is to elect a bunny. You know, people say, oh, she's just a little bunny rabbit. But you know, it's more than that. It's more than just a Monty Python quote. Things aren't always real easy for Coco, um, especially when you're not only trying to be a female president, but also um, a rabbit president, you know, and trying to better the rights for rabbits overall. Um, like, for example, um, we had a run-in with a Vietnamese diner. It was just an unfortunate thing. It, it wasn't the fault of the guy. It just sort of happened. And then there was a time that she got pushed off a balcony. I think it really lends to give just a sort of genuine um, aspect to Coco's run for president. This is just a disgrace and should never be allowed near the Oval Office. It shouldn't even be thought of. It shouldn't even be a question. I have sources that have confirmed that this puffalo has been fornicating like a rabbit. As you can tell, even though we let Bill Clinton slide, we cannot have this problem in the White House. And pardon, pardon my racist remarks, but um, I can't stand purple people. But either way, Coco is already polling higher than Dennis Kucinich in many states and will be a major contender this fall.